Good morning, my noobs. Uh, this morning I was going to do a garden update, which is about a week coming, uh, since I actually made a little video of uh, how our garden was doing this year. And uh, a few days ago, I ran across a video of Jess's um, at Roots and Refuge uh, about being a raindrop, you know, <laughs> filling up an Olympic size pull one little raindrop at a time and I wanted to I just wanted to pass along that I am one of her raindrops I I have farmed before and as a, as a youngin I uh, all my aunts and grandma and mom and dad and all them gardened and stuff and uh, I've been hit and miss on the garden but I really I uh, really started getting heavy into it about three years ago and I found her uh, I found her little vlog on YouTube and it really even though at the time I was doing mostly uh, flowers and, 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 and doing our landscaping and stuff it made me think about gardening again and I started back gardening again and uh, and now it's really uh, paying off and I just wanted to give her a shout out and a uh, and a thank you and to let, let, you, let you know that I too have had problems with this uh, contaminated soil from Grazon a couple a couple years ago I uh, got some uh, manure and it turned out uh, that the horses and cows they were uh, evidently eating uh, eating some hay or and or uh, grass that had this graze on sprayed onto it at some point and uh, I was doing an above ground garden that year I think this was 2020 and I had major issues my tomatoes were horrible and uh, beans didn't grow uh, squash stuff like that still did okay but not fantastic and at the time I didn't really realize what it was but by talking to people and stuff I figured out that's more than likely what it was the manure that I made into compost still had that that contaminant in there so it is a, a bad deal and I feel for anybody that that's happened to uh, luckily this year I didn't use anybody else's soil. I mainly used the compost I had made at the house with my own composting and I, I strongly suggest you do the same. Make your own compost if you can, if you have the space for it. Use your grass clippings and your garden clippings and your leaves and your scraps. Um, it's, it's not hard. Just got to remember to get out there and turn it and water it every now and then. But with that said, uh, the uh, garden's doing pretty well this year. Um, our root, root crops did not make uh, the potatoes and onions and carrots. They just drowned. My soil retains too much water, or at least it did early on. Now it's just it's dry because it's 100 degrees and everything's drying out. But here you can take a look. Take a look at uh, my yard long beans, they're doing great. Look at them boogers. And they get they get bigger. That's about that's pretty close to the right side size for picking. These tomatoes are uh, tomatoes are doing great. The garden's coming along. Squash is prolific. Squash is growing. I am literally getting, oh, I would say on every other day I go out and pick and I'm getting anywhere from maybe six pounds to upwards of over 20 pounds of squash and related items out of the garden and it's really adding up and it's filling our freezer up fast and we're canning some of it. Uh, we'll be showing more videos of that in the future. So here, just take a look at my garden, tell me what you think. and. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've had any trouble with with uh, contaminated soil. 
and be sure and click over on Roots and Refuge's channel and check out her little rant video. She doesn't do rant videos uh, very often, so it's kind of a kind of a strange thing to see her talking like that, but uh, she's not far off the mark. Uh, some of this stuff I think is very intentional. It's early morning, just gonna go to work. Kinda hurt my knee a couple of days ago, so I'm limping a little bit, so the camera might be limping along with me. But as you see, the garden's coming along. Big old tomatoes. Picked a whole bunch yesterday. Probably picked 30 tomatoes off, off these plants yesterday we tilled down our onions did not do well it was just too wet on this side of the garden early on we're going to replant this and the the uh <clears throat> the snow peas we went ahead and took them out cleaned this bed out and we're going to replant some tomatoes we took some cuttings off of our main tomatoes and um, we got them inside uh, trying to grow some roots on them which shouldn't take very long and then we'll get them out here in the garden we'll have a second round of tomatoes as you see there's there's a squash growing back there in the back look at my uh, just want to show you this my yard long beans look at them boogers and they get they get bigger that's about that's pretty close to the right side size for picking seems like the warmer it gets the better these guys are doing I think these asparagus beans or yard long beans are perfect for the Texas climate and they taste really good we made a batch of them they're a little different than a green bean but I really like them See, see some butternut squash down there. There's some growing on the fence. There's acorn squash, or peppers, and the squash is just going crazy out there. We even have some corn coming up. But we've 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 took several bushels of squash out of here, and that's no joke. We only get about 20 pounds at a time every other day or so out of these guys cucumbers have made prolifically quite a bit there's a zinnia there and there's some watermelons growing in the watermelon patch not many there's I don't know there's eight or nine of them probably maybe ten they're not that big yet but they're they are growing Ooh, there's one way over there. I didn't even see that in amongst the squash. Spaghetti squash. I've gotten about oh eight or nine spaghetti squash off of here already. And there's a lot more growing. Acorn squash is growing. Cucumbers vining up on the fence. So not a complete success on the garden, but I'd say about 80%, 85%. Finally got some cantaloupes going out. But there you go. Here's a quick little garden update. It's uh, June 11th today. Guys, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, with the little garden update and uh, Give us a like subscribe to our channel uh, Check back. We'll be doing some future videos. I know it's been a month since I've done one. Sorry about that uh, I will try to get at least one up a week <laughs> I Keep saying that it's, it's really hard and sometimes I'll do three in a week, but uh, Life is that way sometimes you just get 
you get uh, pulled in so many directions. So once again, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next video. Noob.